Om Shanti, welcome back and today we are going to do, do the recording of 27th and 28th. We have missed out yesterday's days, godly blessing. So we are going to be here in the morning after this recording is done. The first, that is 27th, yesterday's blessing and in the evening we will be getting the 28th of June's godly blessing. So let's go ahead. What does God Father have to say over here? God says, may you claim a right to the imperishable inheritance by taking every step according to God's Shreemat. God Shreemat means godly guidance. So what is this imperishable inheritance and what are the steps? Let's understand that. The godly Shreemat that you elevated fortunate souls receive at the confluence age is your most elevated sustenance. So people generally know about the four ages. First is the golden age, the silver age, the copper age and the iron age or in terms of other words Satyug, Treta, Dwapar and Kali Yuga. But there is an extra time which we get after every four years even in a calendar. In the English calendar we get extra day in the month of February and in the Indian calendar we get one complete month which is known as Purushottam Mas. Mas means month. So that Purushottam Mas is the extra time which we get and generally businessmen are very, very happy because they get extra time to do extra business. So God says over here similarly after the end of Kalyug is coming and the beginning of golden age is supposed to come there is an extra time after the four yugs or the four ages have passed which is known as the confluence age which is going on right now. Many people are aware of it who have learned this knowledge in Brahma Kumaris and most of the people almost 95% of the people are not aware of it. So this is an awareness where God says that at this time only, at the end of Kalyug, that you get godly guidance. And this age is known as the Confluence Age. You cannot take even one step without Srimad. Because if you take one step without Srimad godly guidance during this Confluence Age, because our intellects have become totally degraded and impure and we call it Kalyugi or uh, let's say Viprit Buddhi or something known as inverted intellect something which is not thinking pure and not thinking wise. So God says that's why you need to take my guidance. You cannot take even a single step because your intellect is not pure enough like mine. That is without God's sustenance. You cannot receive such sustenance in the golden age. That's very true because why would God need to come in the golden age when everybody is pure and divine. So he comes at the end of Kali Yuga that is the Iron Age and a time between the Kalyug and the beginning of Golden Age. This is also known as or can be compared to midnight 12 o'clock till morning 4 o'clock. So from midnight 12 o'clock the extreme darkness then starts getting into light. So darkness goes away, the night goes slowly away and we move towards sunlight. And as we reach 4 o'clock in certain places at 4 o'clock itself you get the sunrise and in certain places you get it at 4.30 and 5 o'clock also. So God says that that is the time going on right now. We are moving from extreme darkness in, in everybody's mind, in everybody's home there is darkness. That darkness is not lit up by the money which you earn, not by the personal positions but by virtues. So God then says you cannot receive such sustenance in the golden age. You receive it where? In the confluence age, the Purushottam Yuga. Now you can now you say from your practical experience that God is your sustainer because when we get into this knowledge, when we start meditating, we realize that God is a sustainer, God is a guide and we get help from him at every moment. Let this intoxication constantly emerge and you will experience yourself to be full of unlimited treasures. The treasures over here are peace, love, purity, happiness, power, bliss and much more. And having a right to the imperishable inheritance. The imperishable inheritance and the perishable inheritance. You get property, you get wealth from your physical parents, it's perishable. But what we get from the imperishable father, the supreme creator, is the imperishable love, peace, purity, happiness, bliss and power and knowledge. And that is the imperishable inheritance or the wealth or the treasure which we receive. But to experience this treasure and to receive this treasure and the wealth, one needs to understand the complete knowledge about the creation, the creator and the self which we do in the seven day course. If you are missing out on it, you are missing out on the confluence age. 
the incognito confluence stage which is going on right now and time is less for the transition from Iron Age or Kalyug to Satyug. Things are getting ready, nations are getting ready, there are complete sirens of war going on, there are sirens of even inter-religious conflicts going on and you can hear those sirens. I hope you are listening to these signs in the world and you are ready to understand that yes, maybe God has descended on earth for giving out this knowledge and the knowledge to take us into liberation. Please don't miss out on this. Do come and do learn the seven days course and do understand. It's not exactly a course. We call it a course, but it is actually self-revelation and godly revelation. With this, Om Shanti.